I know there is great potential within you, there's greatness within you, and it's in everyone. But sometimes we forget, sometimes we are just so busy with other things that we really don't use our full potential. And I know each one has a gift, each one has a talent, and that is so important for you to use. I, I wrote this book called Unlock Your Full Potential. And part of the reason, and I have to do this in between here, and part of the reason why I did that, because number one, I found a way how to really structure your life and create your visions and goals and actually making sure to accomplish those. You have to have, in order to do that, you have to have a certain path that you want to do, that you want to take and certain things that you need to do. So with, with that, I actually did this myself and it worked like a charm. I worked with clients and they applied it. And so this year I thought, we had a tough year, actually two years thinking back. And for a while it looked a little bit better, but now it seems like, are we repeating the same again? The answer is, no. Why I'm saying it with conviction, because even though the circumstances may be the same or may be similar, but how you're experiencing it can be totally different. And that's why I wanted to do this free training today so you can have the tools and strategies to really start your 2022 right. And get what you want to achieve, or maybe you just want to get healthier. Maybe you want to start a business. Maybe you want to have a better relationship. Whatever it is, what we are talking about today applies to every area in your life. And that's why I'm so excited about it. No matter where you are on your path, on your journey, no matter if you're a, an entrepreneur, no matter if you stay-at-home mom or dad, it doesn't matter. The most important part is that you actually take the right action for your life, for yourself. Um, before I get started, let me introduce myself. And what I would like to do is, um, let me share my, my screen here so we can actually get started. Okay. So this is me. Um, I, live, I live here in sunny Florida, here with my hubby. We just celebrated our 30th we wedding anniversary this year. And then, of course, they are my two canine children. And I want to give you just a little bit of background so you understand uh, where I am coming from and how I can help you. As you may have detected, a slight accent. I'm originally from Hamburg, Germany. That's where I started my career. I was a stage and TV actress in Europe for 10 years before I moved to the States and opened my uh, own business, uh, which was a performing arts school. And I had that school for 27 years. I taught many and got many performers started in their career. And now I purely focus on helping clients, helping others to become better communicators, become more confident. And especially in today's world where video and Zoom, as you can see, is so uh, dominant, it is important that we feel confident about it. So I'm happy to do this. But I'm also a great mindset coach. Every Monday, I have my Monday Mindset Minute on my YouTube channel, and I love to inspire and help people to unlock their full potential and really activate their greatness. With that said, let's dive in. I identified 10 steps that are important for us to take if we want to see the outcome that we desire if we want to have more success in our life, or simply if we want to feel better, because at the end, 
That's what it's all about, right? To feel great. It's not so much of, oh, I achieved this or I accomplished that. It's great. But that is not necessarily what makes us happy. We can achieve great things in business, but if we work ourselves to, to the grind and our health perhaps suffered, that's not good, all right? And if we don't have that fulfillment, we may achieve great things in our job, in our positions, in our business, but we may not have the fulfillment. And for me, it is so important to really live that fulfilled life. And that's actually the tagline of my book, 10 Steps to Live the Life You Imagine. And that actually leads me to my first step. And so let me pass it on. And that is vision. You have to have a vision. We can read in, in the good book, without vision, people will perish, right? And so it is absolute crucial that we have that vision, that we create this vision. Because if we don't, we are like a ship without a captain, just, you know, being in on the ocean, wherever the wind blows is where our ship goes. And that can be sometimes very disappointing or simply not fulfilled. How can we change that? Well, we have to create that vision. And as I mentioned to you just a few minutes ago, I was not fulfilled in my life when I lived in Germany before I actually created my vision. You see, I had no vision. I had no goals, no ideas. And of course, I was, I was a youngster just getting out of school and listen to my well-meant advice, to, to my dad's well-meant advice who said, Sabina, find a job with benefits and a good salary so you can pursue your, you can pay your bills and pursue your hobbies. And by that, he meant my acting and my singing that I love to do. And I thought he was right. So I did. I got into a vocational school, studied business and worked for an insurance company and ended up working as a claim adjuster. And one day I found myself staring out of the window thinking, oh my gosh, I cannot do this for the next 40 years. Uh, that was just, I, I felt so trapped. And then I asked the question, what is mine to do? Ask and ye shall receive, right? And along the way, you always have someone in your life that kind of reminds you on something or gives you some help or some guidance. And that was a former drama, my former drama and music teacher who reminded me of what I love to do. And that changed my decision. I changed careers and became an actress. And I never looked back because we don't want to live with regret. And this is what I believe you don't want either. You don't want to live with regret this next year. Why didn't I take active action in my life, no matter what the circumstances are, all right? And so I did against all the well-meant advice of my family and friends who said, Sabina, don't do it, you know? Uh, this acting career, it's a, you will starve, you know, the starving actors. But this was my reply. I said, listen, I, I have to give it a try. Because if I don't, I will ask myself 40 years from now, why didn't you at least give it a try? And that's what I am inviting you as well. Whatever your vision is, whatever that that the thing is that you want to do, become, or achieve next year, give it a try. 
And I know you may have, well, I don't know what my vision is. Well, here is what I invite you to do. The action step is to now create that vision. <clears throat> and I hope you have a piece of paper handy and a, a piece of, yeah, paper and pen. Here we go. Because along this training, I have action step built in. Because I know that just listening to a training, it's good, but if you take action at the same time, it's even better because you can formulate it, you write it down. Every time we take more sense, our senses to it, it makes it even better. <clears throat> so what I want you to do is right now, just write down what you want to get, achieve, become, have, anything. So that is the most important part, not to judge. We're going to go and make it a little bit more clear as we go along. But just right now, just take a minute to write down those things, okay, that you want to do, have, and become. And I'm going to... <clears throat> give you some music as well. All right, so take a minute or two to do this right now. So I hope you had some time and just wrote something down. Again, one of the things that I also learned, it when you write something down, it, hasn't, it doesn't have to be in gold. <laughs> what do I mean by that? Oftentimes, we are judging even before we write something down, and that hinders us. So we can always change it, all right? And our vision changes, and our goals are is constantly changing. That's what's called life. So with that said, let's go to, to our next step, and that is clarity. You have, cl you have to have clarity in your mind. And sometimes that could also mean if you don't have that clarity yet. And perhaps if you had difficulties to write down what you want, there's another way to definitely know or maybe get triggered what you want by writing down what you don't want. So this is just something I just wanted to point out there. If you come to that point, it's like, oh, I don't know. Write down what you don't want. That can be a good, good exercise just by itself because that shows you, oh no, I definitely don't want that. See, when I sat in that office, I had no vision at that point yet but I knew what I didn't want. And that was sitting in that office and working behind a desk for 40 years because that's not me. So that's what I did. I just put it out there. I don't want that. And then I asked the question, what is mine to do? And maybe you have to ask yourself that question if it's not clear yet, and that's okay. The answer didn't come that same day. The answer to me came a few days later. But be, be open. But another thing I wanted to point out, and I think that makes it even stronger, is that we do have to take full responsibility for our life. Especially with what's going on right now, we think we don't have control over it. Although it is true that we don't have control over the outside things. Let me just put it this way. I don't want to say anything, anything else. I think you know what I mean, right? But we always, always have control of our response to it. 
not reaction, but response. And everyone has a different response. Let me just give you a very um, simple example, okay? They say there are two workers and they were called to the office and the boss said, you know, we have to lay off a couple of people. And worker A goes home frustrated and just, ah, oh, it happened to me and what can, oh, there's nothing I can do about it and just complains about it sits down on the sofa, drinks his beer, and watch TV. And the next day he comes to work and I'm gonna get fired anyways, right? And just did the minimum. Worker two comes home, starts opening up the computers, looking for other job possibilities and going back to work next day and start thinking, what can I do? How can I contribute to that so that maybe we can, uh, uh, improve processes. And so he was proactive. After 30 days, worker one gets a pink slap, slip, worker two gets a promotion. All right. So same circumstances, different responses. And I just want you to, to remember that. And if you take 100% responsibility for your life, you will also have the chance to whatever problem there may be, you can, you can fix it. What do I mean by that? Well, if we keep, you know, blaming and put responsibility or say, oh, the fault, it's, it's my neighbor's fault, it's my boss's fault, it's the government's fault, it's whatever fault. If you do that, what happens is you put them in charge of coming up with a solution, right? If it's their problem, they need to fix it. Well, you can probably wait forever. But if you take 100% responsibility for your life, no matter what the circumstances are, because we are living all, not all, but in some circumstances, they are the same, then you put the power, you give the power away. But if I put the responsibility on me, I can make the decisions. So that's one thing also to put an account about clarity. Now, here is step number three. And this is very, very important. And that is decision. It's decision time. You have the decision to make today, tomorrow, every day in your life. But if you want to change something, make a decision to do that. And if you're not familiar with uh, Napoleon Hill, I highly recommend to, to read Think and Grow Rich. It's, it's a classic. I read it several times. But I wanted to read a statement of um, Napoleon Hill. He said, men who succeed reach decisions promptly and change them, if at all, very slowly. Men who fail reach decisions, if at all, very slowly and change them frequently and quickly. Indecision and procrastination are twin brothers. Where one is found, the other is usually present. Kill off this pair before they completely hogtie you to the treadmill of failure. Whoa, that's pretty deep, right? But it is so true. You know, we have to make a decision. And when I made the decision to change careers, I made it quickly. I said, I'm going to do it. I was, of course, always listening to advice, but it was my decision. It was not the decision of my dad or my mom, my friends. It was my decision. It was my life. It is your life, your decisions. So I invite you to really think about that one for a second. And that leads me to action step number two right now. And that is 
writing down your declaration, okay? When we declare something, we may have, we may think it, all right? We may think about it. If we declare it, we can speak it, we can write it down, and if we share it, it gets even one step higher to make it a more successful endeavor. So here is, I'm gonna give you the formula and you write it down. I declare that I am willing to do what is necessary to reach or achieve or get. So you fill in your desired outcome. And once you've done that, once you've written it down, sign it. It's your signature. So with that said, now we have to do actually what's necessary to get our desired outcome. Now we declared it. We have a clear vision. We made a decision. We declared it. And now we have to set our goals.